Hey, John. Hey, Paul. How you doing? Good, man. Hey, can you help me out here? Sure thing. <laughs> what? You grab that. And what's with the bucket? You're gonna be building a subwoofer today. Really? This should Come be interesting. Welcome to the Genelec USA Learning Channel. It's easy to build a subwoofer. All you need is a speaker, an amp, a bucket, and some basic materials, and voila, you got bottom in. But in order to make a really great sounding subwoofer and maintain high SPL and low cutoff frequency, you have to consider the balance of all components, speaker size, cabinet volume, and amplifier power. For example, a large speaker in a small box requires a bigger amp than a large speaker in a large box. It's all about moving air. The more air, the bigger the sound. Therefore, if you're looking for high output and ground shaking lows, you're gonna need a bigger boat. And to do it accurately is the challenge. Let's start with the enclosure. There are two types, the ported box and the closed box. While both can achieve a powerful end result, they both have different requirements for optimal performance. In a closed box, the driver has to continuously move four times the distance for each halving of the frequency down to its lowest operating frequency. The ported box is actually doing better, particularly as you get closer to the tuning frequency. There, the moving mass happens in the port and the driver's not really moving much at all. When the port design is effective, Having low losses and a high Q factor, the performance difference between a ported design and a closed box is actually quite large. While the ported design can be more efficient, it also has its challenges. The primary function of the port is to move air freely and minimize the speed of the airflow in and out of the box. Air that cannot move freely becomes turbulent, and turbulence causes distortion. Corners and edges do not allow for free movement. If they did, then you'd see racetracks with 90 degree angles. And of course, the box dimensions will always be the limiting factor to tube length. A ported system requires a total balance of components, but when done correctly, can have outstanding benefits in both efficiency and accurate low end reproduction. In the early 2000s, Genelec introduced the revolutionary LSE subwoofer design that has taken the ported subwoofer concept to an entirely new level. LSE is short for laminar spiral enclosure and is built on the basic principles of laminar physics. The same principle that moves air efficiently across a wing to make an airplane fly will in effect move air in and out of the cabinet with far better efficiency than a simple tube port. The spiral design allows for a long throw port with smooth curves. The rolled steel for the spiral is also the enclosure and built like a tank. The scalable design extends the low cutoff with extremely accurate reproduction. LSE subs have very stiff walls and this contributes to high efficiency. A box with flexing walls will not be efficient. Our bucket sub example is thin walls and thus would be quite a detriment to its performance. Stiff does not necessarily mean thick, particularly in the case of Genelec designs. Complemented with a 7.1 analog and stereo aes IO makes for a versatile base management component to any stereo or multi-channel environment. The latest models of the LSC design, known as the 7300 series, have the added benefit of the Genelec SAM technology that will acoustically calibrate to your room and can be connected with other SAM products for large network multi-channel environments. And now with the latest software updates, these subwoofers can integrate with other non-SAM products. We hope you found today's episode informative and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one.